we have an entertaining and exciting show lined up for you today. We're here visiting the Experience Children's Museum. It is a place that has been inspiring creativity and imagination in children for 20 years. The museum is a nonprofit organization located in the historic cultural district of downtown Erie, whose entire mission is to engage children and families in a fun and educational manner. They are committed to educating children across a broad range of topics, including math, science, art, culture, literacy, and health. Taking us on this entertaining tour is the Executive Director, Ainsley Brosig. I am so excited to start this tour of the Children's Museum with Ainsley. Ainsley, we are filled with excitement and noise and children laughing. Tell our viewers, when they walk through the front door, what can they expect? Well, the Children's Museum is a really bright place. So we have lots of bright, bold colors. Um, right behind us is our iconic water table and airwaves exhibit. These are some of the favorite things when kids come to the museum. Um, the water table where kids can splash around and get wet because that's part of the fun. Um, race a boat, race a duck, um, and also get to build a dam and see how water flows. And then the air tunnel here with the balls, they love this. They do. So, you know, it's kind of like um, a reaction play. You stick the ball through the tunnel, push a button, and watch it flow through the tubes. Um, kids love to see where it's going to come out and how fast it goes. They love to race mom and dad through each side. Um, <laughs> little kids love movement, and this place is all about movement. There's so much stimulus here. Um, what else do you have here on the, on the first floor? So we have our paint with water exhibit where kids can literally just paint with water. I love it. It's, you know, mess free. Um, <laughs> it's something fun you can do at home as well. Um, as you round the corner, you come to our Lake Erie exhibit. You know, we live right by the lake. And so it's important that our kids learn about it. Yes. It features Lake Erie fish. It talks about how water comes from Lake Erie into our homes. Um, and then of course, around the corner from there is our beloved cave, uh, which has been here 25 years, about as long as the water table. Really? Yeah, it was some of our first exhibits. This one's called Portal to the Past. So inside, you know, of course, they love to run through it and um, go down the slide, but there are artifacts in there on loan from Mercyhurst College where kids can learn all about arrowheads and gold. And um, there's a woolly mammoth bone, which kids think is super cool too. Um, so and we that's all inside, inside before the they cave. go on the slide. Yep, yep. Um, so we really want to sneak in a little bit of education as they're having fun. So they are learning. They are. But, uh, and they don't even realize they're learning. Right. Uh, right. You got them. Yep, we do. Um, there's also a little digging pit where the kids can uncover some fossils um, and learn um, all about, you know, the different animals that maybe covered the earth back in the day. So we're always trying to sneak in that learning element, but it has to be fun. Exactly. So, um, of course, the slide is the most important thing <laughs> there. And the balls and the water, I'm yes. telling you. They just all gravitate right yep. towards that. Mm -hmm. They do. Um, this is just this is just the first floor. Now, I see a lot of children. There's a lot of activity. Uh, is it field trips? Is it just um, members coming in? Mm -hmm. What do you see a lot of? Most so, of? believe it or not, about 30% of our visitation is from out of town guests. So really, we, we are a tourist attraction. We know Erie is a great place to take a vacation. There's lots of things to do, and we're part of that. Um, we're lucky to have a children's museum of this size, so we do see a lot of out-of-town visitors. But we also see a ton of our local folks. Um, we have about 1,500 family memberships. Members usually come two to three times a month. Um, we have some members that come every week. Um, and that's great too. Um, and every time they come, they love to say there's something new every time they come. And how much is a membership here? Um, $80 for a family pass that comes with guest passes. So you can bring grandma, grandpa, bring some friends with you. Um, and then they go down from there. We have single parent, single grandparent um, and whatnot. And they go down to $65. Okay. So you have something for everybody. Something for everyone. To get you in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you are open uh, how many days a week? We're open six days a week. We do take Mondays off um, for deep cleaning. That's when we really dig deep into the carpets and the water table and whatnot. Um, but we also see very large field trips on those days as okay. well. So um, my, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, we're open 10 to five and on Sundays from one to five. Okay, 
So you've walked us through the first floor. I know we've got three floors and an added bonus outside. We do. So let's talk about the second floor. Okay. So the second floor is our imagination floor. So oh, that is it's the place. Great. It is fantastic. If you want to go by themes, the first floor we call the explore floor because okay. you're exploring with water, exploring in the cave. The second floor is imaginative. Um, that's where our town is. So kids get to pretend to be anything they want to be, a doctor, a nurse. They can be a banker. They can work in a grocery store. They can serve pizza. And that's also where we have our stage so they can perform as well. Um, so that's really the place where a lot of um, imaginative play comes into, into hand. And then we also have our science wing there too. So there is a place to build a rocket and send it up in the air. There is um, some kinetic energy in our notion of motion and learning all about how um, Newton's law works, but in a very kid-friendly way, of course. Right, right. You said it's a town. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell our viewers, when, you, when they get off on the second floor, mm -hmm. what they're going to see. So children's museums are really reflective of their community. Okay. So um, our town is what we call it. We hope that Erie is reflected in the little town upstairs. All so right. when you walk off the elevator, you see a giant GE train locomotive. I love it. I with, just um, love it. An overhead train that is a mini replica GE locomotive that was made here at Erie that kids can push and see uh, go around the second floor. Then you see a doctor's office a bank that looks much like a bank we have here in Erie. And the doctor's office does too. Mm -hmm. You even have a skeleton in there. We do. <laughs> you know, the point of that play, that area is really to um, make it so that kids aren't scared to go to the doctor. Right. Um, to learn about their bodies, learn about bones. Mm -hmm. There's babies in there, little girls and boys love the nursery. They get to hold babies and feed them bottles. Um, and then you move on to the bank where they're learning a lot of financial literacy, learning what the dollar bill looks like, Okay. learning to count, learning mm -hmm. about coins. Um, and then you move on to our pizza kitchen where, believe it or not, there's a lot of math involved in a pizza making process. They learn about weighing and measuring what they put on their pizza. They learn about healthy food preparation. Okay. Um, and then they get to um, serve, serve the food to their mom and dad. It's great. It is so great. When I was up there, there's like four or five of them in there and they were serious. They were getting down to business making yeah. that pizza. You know, what's funny is kids can't wait to grow up and have a job, right? Some of us maybe could wait a little bit, but kids <laughs> cannot wait to grow and up. And once they get there, yeah. then yes. <laughs> so to them, it's really a glimpse into their future. They want to answer the phone. They want to work on the computer. They want to cook. They want to bake. Right. And that's what the town does. It lets them dream big. One of the most exciting things up there is your Wegmans grocery store. Tell our viewers about that, how that um, idea mm -hmm. was born and how it's evolved. Yeah, so we were actually the first children's museum to have a Wegmans kids market. That's a fun little fact. 25 years ago when the museum opened, we were the very first one. Wegmans was a great partner and we started the kids markets and children's museums. Um, so since then it's evolved. Um, Wegmans is a great community partner. They have a couple um, other children's museums that have Wegmans exhibits. But the whole concept behind that is, you know, a lot of kids go to the grocery store with mom or dad. Right. We want them to make healthy food choices. Mm -hmm. We want them to, um, you know, be responsible for how much things cost. Um, and so it's a great place for kids to learn a, a skill that they're going to need in the future. And that's shopping, using a budget, um, eating a rainbow, eating healthy. Um, and learning all about different kinds of foods, too. That's where you'll see organic food. We have sushi. Um, we have the prepared I did see that. foods. Mm -hmm. um, and they love it. But we also talk about it's really fun to be the shopper and the person that checks you out, but someone has to restock the shelves. And that's the part that they have a hard time <laughs> with, is the putting away onto the shelves. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is phenomenal. I got to tell you, Ainsley, um, I know Jessie was there with her, her little one, Lola, and Lola didn't even want to leave. She was so excited pushing that shopping cart around. Yes, the shopping carts are everything. And you even have little mini shopping carts. Mm -hmm. You've got a little mini um, checkout, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the, with the, um, the belt, the food yep. goes down and everything. There's a mini coffee area. 
Oh, um, I didn't catch that. Yeah. And so the whole idea is it looks exactly like a mini grocery store. It does. They, they mm -hmm. want it to look exactly like it. So mm -hmm. it's real products without the food actually in the containers. Um, but it's everything is real. Even the replica food that we use is made to look exactly like a real apple or real banana that you'd see in the grocery store. It really store. does. And it really, really does. Um, what I was going to ask you is, where did the food, all the cans come from? Does Wegmans supply all of that? Wegmans does. Mm -hmm. They send them to us empty. It's a great sponsorship for them to help keep that up to date. You know, that grocery store sees a lot of love. Yes. So um, we are constantly replacing some things that need replaced. Um, the food, the, the play food we order from a company, um, it's non-toxic. It's easy to clean and sanitize. Um, and it has a great shelf life. So we um, pay a lot for it, but it really withstands all the traffic mm -hmm. we see It is here. very durable. It's not, very durable. A, it's not a cheap plastic Correct. or anything like that. Yes. So um, also you said there's a stage up there. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what would you use the stage for? So sometimes we'll have performers in here. Okay. Um, for example, Cirque du Soleil is coming to Erie or came to Erie and they are going to come and bring some performers and perform for the kids. Um, we often have community members who come and sing and dance like Lori Burke and um, some puppet shows and whatnot. But it's also a place where um, kids can use their imagination. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but on the stage there's a castle, but it's white. Okay. And so I get that's one of the questions I get all the time is, why is that castle white? Um, and our theory is we don't know if it's a princess castle or a pirate castle. Um, we want the kids to fill it in and use their imagination. So, I love it. Um, it is a white castle and it can be anything they want it to be. Um, and then we have props behind the, the stage where they have big ship wheels and they have little jackets they can put on. We had an Oliver Hazard Perry costume they could put on. Oh. Of course, dancers and butterflies and all of that fun stuff too. And what's really fun is that is an area where you will see kids who do not know each other come together, problem solve, and be creative together to perform, put on a performance um, and collaborate. And that's one of the special things that happen here at the museum. How wonderful to watch that happen. Now, you, we were talking, you do birthday parties here. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty popular, aren't they? We do, yeah. You know, as a mom, I can say what a great place to have a birthday party because we do all the work so you don't have to. Um, so you can really enjoy your special day with your little one. We have a party room loft that seats up to 40 people. Okay. And then um, we do the treat bags. We do pizza, drink, plates, napkins, all of that. Um, and we encourage adult supervision. So adults that come <laughs> to the birthday party do not have to pay. You just pay for the kids. That's wonderful. Which is great because that means grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles. Everybody can come and enjoy. Yes. It's a great setting. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine the excitement of maybe a child who has not been here. Correct. To come here for the first time and have a birthday party. Yes. Great idea. Anyway. Yeah, thanks. So we do sell out quickly. So um, a couple months in advance, you need to call us to book that. Okay. Now, um, there is um, an activity area down on the in the bottom mm -hmm. floor. What is there? What so do we have there? That's our create floor. So that's all about creativity. So there was a Lego wall where kids can create something. I love with Legos. Lego wall. I really do. Um, there's a light bright. Okay. Um, and light tables where kids can um, you know play with light. That's where our art studio is. So there's little tables with every kind of art tool you would need. The messier, the better. Sometimes there's clay, watercolor. Um, sometimes there's bubble solution where you can paint with bubbles. Um, and, and each week we change the theme of what's down there so okay. they can make something. Mm -hmm. We also have a reading nook. Um, so you can take time to read a story if you'd like. Puzzles. There's um, a special area down there that is perfect for Jesse's daughter um, called the uh, Baby Garden. And it's a perfect soft play area for the pre-walkers. So it's a safe place for them to learn to walk. They fall, they crawl, um, and it's a space just for them so that the little older kids aren't in their way. Okay. So they can climb, they can fall, they can trip, they can run right. around in and there. And explore, yep. Yes. Yes. yes, that area is great. I do, I really do love the, the Lego wall. 
and I know you have puzzles down there, mm -hmm. and there's a couple of aquariums down yep. there, right yep. on the wall. Yeah, we're lucky to have a partnership with the Erie Aquarium Society. They take care of those. You know, kids love fish. Um, those fish are not Lake Erie fish, mm -hmm. but um, we live on the biggest, a big body of water, right. so it's important for kids to learn about them and they love to watch them swim. They're fascinating. Fish are just fascinating. Mm -hmm. So it's a great area. I want to talk now about what I call the bonus area. Yeah. <laughs> the, out, the outside. Okay. Tell us about that. And uh, you know, when did this all come together? Sure. So that is um, an outdoor classroom and it is an 80 by 80 piece of property that the museum had owned. At one time, it was parking. Um, when the art museum redid their annex, we kind of lost the parking. Um, so it was kind of a vacant lot. Um, and it was really a missed opportunity. And we knew that at that point, we couldn't afford to put on an addition. So we right. thought, what can we do with this space? Um, and we learned about something called a certified outdoor classroom. There are one of, we are one of 14 in Pennsylvania. And what it is, is it's a space that the Arbor Foundation, Dimensions Research, and Nature Explorer have just said is, um, has all the essential elements for kids to learn about nature. So our educators go to a special training to learn about what activities we put out there. Um, we do teacher workshops. And the whole goal is nature for kids every day. So it's something hard for us Erieites to embrace. Um, but really kids need to be in nature all the time. Even if it's raining, even if it's snowing, um, it, you know, we do have a rule if it's under 30 degrees, we don't send them out, mm -hmm. but um, there's so much they can learn from all the different seasons and whatnot. So it's a beautiful space. There's 13 essential elements, music and movement. There's a sensory herb garden. There's a digging pit. There's a reading nook, um, a discovery path. We'll do ladybug releases. We'll paint with flowers out there. And it's a space where if a kid likes a flower or likes an herb, they can pick it and smell it. Um, we encourage the hands-on learning out there. It is fantastic out there. And I didn't realize that you do it all four seasons. We do. I mean, because I don't know, <laughs> I'm thinking of our winters here, mm -hmm. but you're right, the kids love it. As yeah. long as they're dressed well, yep. dressed for it. And what's really exciting is it's fenced in, it's okay. completely safe. safe. We'll have our staff members out there um, monitoring the space as well. But you know, kids today don't play in nature the way all of us used to. Um, so we want them to make mud pies and get dirty. And, and we just say pack a, a spare set of clothes and let them experience what's out there in a safe, nice contained way. Well, I would think that would be marvelous for a child who really hasn't been exposed to the outdoors because there are some that really right. don't know nature right so we we see a lot of field trips okay. um, and you know we're located in downtown Erie we do a lot of work with the Erie's public schools and so to have a nature space right in the heart of downtown Erie is pretty remarkable and so field trips they all need to go outside get some of that energy out mm -hmm. and for some of those kids they, they've never been a part of something like that so it's a great thing to see Ainsley this is marvelous I absolutely absolutely love what you have done here I mean I've watched this place grow since she's come on board and seeing it now I haven't seen it for quite a while it, it's amazing well thank you it's amazing. thank you very much we have a great staff that mm -hmm. makes it all work is there anything that we didn't touch base on that you wanted to let our viewers know about? Um, well, you know, come see us. Membership and admission is how we bring new exhibits here. Okay. Um, we also take volunteers, if, especially garden volunteers. We'd love to have some of those. Retired teachers, anybody like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, come down and see us. Okay. It's a great place. It's a great place. Aisley, thank you so thank much for you. the tour. I loved it. Thank you. Jessica was here today, and it was the first time that her daughter Lola was here. Mm -hmm. Jessie, tell us about the experience. We are having such a good time here. It was our very first time here, Lola's first time. She's 19 months old. My first time here in probably a long time. Um, it was incredible. There are so many sensory things going on um, that she didn't know where to start first. It was incredible. We loved the water table. Um, her sleeves got wet, so we had to dry her off after that. 
and then we went right to the cave and, and sliding down the slide. Um, they have wonderful gardens and we were playing in the gardens and digging in the dirt and playing with rocks. Something I wasn't even imagining was a toy, is a rock. So we had such a great time. Um, I was so surprised, so happily surprised to see how many things were for her age group, but at the same time she was playing next to eight and nine year olds. I mean, just it was so incredible how one toy could transition from a little toddler all the way up to a young child. I thought that was amazing. And Lola is 19 months old. Yes. And like you said, wherever she went, it was age age appropriate. Yes, it really was. I mean, you, you could transition that one toy to to meet her educational needs, and then the next kid would come along, and it would be a totally different toy. So, now, do you think when you take her home, you're going to wear her? She's going to be worn out. She's going to be napping on the car ride home. She's going to be exhausted. So, what do you think she enjoyed the most? I think that she enjoyed the most the water table, and I also think she enjoyed the grocery store, the Wegmans grocery store. She always sees mommy doing the grocery shopping, right. and she wants to be very helpful. And so just having all the groceries that she could take off the shelf, I will say she really enjoyed the pizza shop too. She really likes playing on the computer, pushing all the keys on the keyboard, and playing on the telephone. Um, and so I, I, it was so neat how they had an entire city upstairs for her to explore. And um, it was just something that I cannot wait to bring her back. This was an amazing experience, and I know we're going to buy a membership now. It was, a, it was an amazing experience for me to, to watch Lola, to look at it through her eyes. Right, right. She, I mean, she was pointing to things and she was laughing or smiling or her mouth was gaping open. <laughs> so I know she really loved it. And we did too. We had such a fun time here. Um, and as a new mom, sometimes germs can be a concern for me. And everything is so clean here. I mean, you can see people, um, you know, after the kids are done playing with things, they're either scrubbing it clean or we were talking to Ainsley and they do wash and scrub and clean everything down every single night. And as a mom who's concerned about germs, that makes me feel really good. Uh, Jesse, thank you so much for you and your family joining us today on this tour and this visit. It was really great having you. Well, thank you so much. We really loved it. Come on down and see for yourself the Experienced Children's Museum's over 50 exhibits on three floors that are designed to encourage hands-on interaction. At the museum, children can explore, imagine, create, and play. We know children are curious, creative, and social. Therefore, these exhibits at the museum encourage them to learn through experiences that allow children to investigate, experiment, and build. This was such a fun visit. Thank you for joining us on our visit to the museum today. Until next time, have a wonderful day.